Okay, welcome everyone. This is theCUBE's live coverage from Information On Demand, IBM's event here in Las Vegas. This is where all the action is happening for IBM IOD. The hashtag is hashtag IBM IOD. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante, co-founder of wikibon.org. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. IBM just delivered their keynotes, which we carried live on siliconangle.tv. Um, Dave, um, great uh, event here, IBM. This is our second uh, IOD. Last year we heard them bringing that story together around big data, but this year it's very, very clear. IBM is rolling out uh, much more comprehensive solutions with customer testimonials, with some, with some meat in the bone, as we say, around big data analytics, cloud mobile, and social. And to me, the highlight so far is the, the obviously the data analytics is a big part of their strategy. But you're seeing the, the connection of two major forces that IBM's harnessing around here so far today. And that is the big data revolution combined with social business. You know, cloud and mobile are kind of underpinnings, under the hood kind of technologies that everyone is adopting and adopting. Obviously mobile um, is already kind of the horses out of the barn on that one, but cloud is certainly on, on the agenda for the software defined data center. We're seeing converged infrastructure really moving into the direction of the hybrid cloud. That's all going on under the hood, but really the big story so far, Dave, is big data analytics from data to decisions and insights with real, new ways to do business. And IBM obviously has been in this business of computing for many, many years. So the business of computing is now moving to the business of data and uh, social business. So, so what's your take so far of the keynotes and what do you expect to hear for the next two days where we'll be live? Well, John, I think it's apropos that we're coming off from Big Data NYC, Hadoop World, Stratacomp, uh, where we had the cube. We interviewed a lot of guests, very Hadoop focused. Obviously, it was our fourth year doing that show. And the reason I say it's Apropos is because IBM observed that whole Hadoop movement, and last year really was, to me, the year that IBM put the stake in the ground, and particularly it culminated at IOD last year, where IBM, what I said, I tweeted this out a lot, super glued the, the, the analytics business, its analytics business, to the big data meme. And IBM has been hard at work trying to create a new category, big data analytics, and I think it's caught on. IBM's actually their own research suggest it's not catching on as, as fast as maybe people thought, but I think it is actually, anecdotally, I think everybody's really focused on the analytics pieces, where the value is, and I think that's what's different about this conference. John, last week, of course, we heard a lot about key value stores and bringing SQL to Hadoop. We're gonna hear a lot about that from a technology standpoint, but 90% of the content at this conference is about business, about business outcomes, it's about business value, and we're gonna hear from a lot of, uh, uh, not so much, Hadoop practitioners as we are practitioners in healthcare or energy or other industries that are really trying to transform their businesses. That's really the big theme here. And I want to just point out that a couple obviously major trends, just this morning in the Wall Street Journal, Andy Kessler wrote an op-ed piece called, you know, around Twitter's IPO. And I think that signifies with Facebook's public offering, got LinkedIn obviously doing well, social business is real. The discussion really is around how people are using the data, and then social obviously is what we're calling, and we coined the term, the crowd consumer. And that's the, this new psychographic, this new user that's out there, that's a worker, that's, a, that's an enterprise worker, that's also a consumer. And uh, we will be having uh, some crowd-activated innovation ourselves. If you go to crowdchat.net, we'll be having a four-hour live crowd chat. If you're on LinkedIn or Twitter, come join the crowd chat at uh, crowdchat.net slash IBM IOD, we're going to have, we're going to be documenting the CUBE conversations here on the CUBE where IBM executives and their customers will be talking about how they're using big data, social business, and cloud and mobile. So go to crowdchat.net slash IBM IOD and you will, you will hear uh, some, some of the conversations. So uh, Dave, I think, you know, to me, you know, the digital business model is here to stay. Obviously, uh, we heard in New York City, Big Data Week, NYC, Big Data NYC. Once you turn that data tap on, it, you just can't turn it off. It's, it's coming in from machines, it's coming in from people. Um, and I was hosting a panel with the CEO of General Electric, and you know we were discussing the industrial internet. So you know IBM is going to be a major supplier to these businesses. This is about empowering, not controlling. That's a theme we're going to hear here today. So it's going to be very exciting. Well, the, uh, today you're going to hear a lot about analytics. Um, we're going to hear a lot about data science. Tomorrow is the social analytics piece, and and uh, or uh, social analytics for business. Now, John, you mentioned you mentioned crowd chat. You talk about things like that, but why is the hashtag? becoming so important. Well, how is it a source of data? I want you to talk about that a little bit. Well, I think what we're seeing is this new crowd consumer, and we're going to talk about this on, on our um, 
on our crowd chat is, is that the hashtag is now kind of a folksonomy. In the database world, taxonomies drove everything. But now this new advent of what we're calling here at SiliconANGLE one, the crowd consumer, brings in a new connected uh, element to the, to the business model, and that's people. And the people-centric model, which IBM talks to in their social business strategy, is grounded in analytics. But the hashtag is a phenomenon that you're seeing not only on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, any social network. Users are using hashtag to signify their interest. Uh, it's a gesture of sentiment, but also, more importantly, it's a gesture of discovery. So what Andy Kessler pointed out in the, in the uh, Wall Street Journal article op-ed is, is that this new way of doing business is going to change how users find information, who they connect with, how community leaders, not just you know, technical communities, business communities, communities of interest, and more importantly, how marketers talk to people. So to me, I see the hashtag as this new way for people to tune into the, the conversations and ultimately the content. No longer is it going to be controlling spoon-fed content model of the, of the past. This is going to be a direct business model of content marketing, content distribution to users. So I believe that the hashtag will be a fundamental component like the URL was for the web. And I see IBM is using it today. So if you go to hashtag IBM IOD, you can follow along the conversation. So you know we have Tim Crawford's already in. Uh, hi, Tim, out there. He's already on the crowd chat. Go to crowdchat.net because the hashtag is what the conversation is. And the conversation is the new content. Conversation is the new web page. And IBM recognizes that. A lot of innovators like Twitter are recognizing that. Facebook hasn't yet grasped that yet. I mean, if you look at Facebook, Dave, technically they just can't store all those hashtags fast enough. And I think they might have a little challenge on the big data side there. But in general, users are tuning in. And they're tuning into new ways to get information. The paradigm of Google search will still be around, but the new way is, is, is more personalization. And that is why we're seeing this notion of the persona of one concept come out, where, where businesses want to talk to, to their customers directly, not go through a middleman. So again, this is, this is one of those uh, uh, moments where you see these black swans come out of the marketplace from these major waves. And we are certainly with social business and big data analytics in a massive wave, a new wave. And every time you have these wave, billion dollar companies are created. So John, uh, IBM of course has this massive portfolio um, in its analytics business, it's DB2, it's DB2 that, that, that runs on Z, but also runs on Linux, Unix, and Windows. Uh, the whole big data analytics business that, that comprises a numerous assets, including things like Cognos and, and obviously uh, the old Informix assets, uh, it's Infosphere, Streams products, uh, SPSS. Um, it's, it, and at this event, you're also, there's an information management uh, focus, you're talking about um, even the pure systems pieces. So it's massive, massive portfolio that IBM brings to bear. So what we're going to be doing this week, uh, today and tomorrow, is really trying to unpack that and understand how customers are applying te technology to create a business capability. So as I said, we're going to hear from a lot of <clears throat> not necessarily technical practitioners. We'll hear from those. We always get the tech athletes on the queue, but we're also going to hear from business uh, practitioners, people in healthcare, uh, uh, people in, in government, people in other industries. Uh, Jake. Porway, who's the uh, MC of Information on Demand, IOD 2013, is coming on theCUBE today at uh, 3 o'clock. We've got Dr. Tim Buckman from Emory University is coming on uh, later on this morning, just in a few minutes. Um, we've got a, a number of folks. Uh, this morning at the keynotes, John, you heard uh, Bob LeBlanc and, uh, and Bob Picciano uh, talking about uh, IBM's capabilities um, and hosting panels of, of customers. I also heard a lot about cloud. IBM made an acquisition earlier this year of SoftLayer. You know, we often joke that, that big data gives the cloud something to do. Uh, you want to put data in the cloud. You don't want to necessarily have to move it, but you want to analyze it and pull out the nuggets um, and, and actually move the code to the data, but not move the data all over the place. So cloud gives you the ability to very rapidly spin up instances of compute and storage and be able to analyze data very quickly and get insights on the fly without having to necessarily procure systems and, and storage devices and the like. So it gives you an infrastructure play very quickly. IBM's acquisition of SoftLayer really gets IBM much more into that business and they're really pushing the cloud and, and, and big data themes. So we're going to be talking about that today. Um, for the next two days, as I say, today is big analytics day, uh, tomorrow social business. 
So one of the things, Dave, we're going to explore here, IBM, is obviously we're not going to go into the weeds too much. We can if, if, if we have the guests that want to go there. We're happy to go anywhere. We're like a helicopter. We can go high level, go, go deep. But mainly IBM's focus around business is key. Uh, we do have a great deep dive technical conversations from theCUBE last week in New York City at Big Data NYC. You can go to uh, SiliconANGLE uh, or go to youtube.com slash SiliconANGLE. We have all those videos here. But to me, what I'm interested in is, is the business model side of the innovation. Um, this uh, new social activated innovation uh, strategy by IBM is pretty compelling. So, you know, so to me, I want to hear how the business models are changing, some of the value change, what's going on at the customer base. As we had talked with GE's uh, uh, CEO and chairman, uh, Jeff Immelt, and his top customers, the vice chairman of United, uh, oil and gas leaders, and um, healthcare, is that it's not just about the service side of the business, it's also about the operation side. So one of the things you know, that's always sexy to put in the keynotes is all the graphs of the social data. But at the end of the day, the nuts and bolts of business value that's generated very quickly is use of data insights for the operational aspects of this new internet. And that's, that's going to be around the instrumentation of equipment, uh, people, and really changing the business models because the social business is both the operational side of it and kind of a uh, continuous innovation or continuous operations, but also as well as the new user experience. So we're going to watch out for that today. We're going to dig a little bit, poke a little bit at that area. We want to look at the business model side of it not just the end user experiences. So you know, we've got some great guests here. We have uh, uh, the professor of surgery at Emory University School of Medicine. We have director of big data analytics from IBM. Um, we have obviously the general manager of, of big data at IBM. And, and then obviously tomorrow we'll talk about the social business. So it's going to be very exciting. You know, Stay with us and uh, go to crowdchat.net slash IBM IOD. And that, all those tweets go to the hashtag, all those comments. Log in with LinkedIn or Twitter. Uh, CrowdChat is our new crowd activated innovation uh, platform. Uh, come join the conversation and take advantage of our new crowd mail service where if you log in, you can message folks within the conference here and, and, and chat with them and also chat publicly. So this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE, Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.